Hey everyone, Mike here. Uh, I want to talk about safety. Um, what am I? What's it like if something bad happens? Uh, an earthquake, typhoon, tsunami, things like that. Well, what's it like when you're living alone as a foreigner and you can't speak the language and you don't know what's going on? Well, uh, that just happened. <laughs> There's a big typhoon going through this area right now, and I'll show you. This is the um, marine warnings for the water, and I live in the red area. That's the water. Okay, there's a typhoon. This is uh, the purple is typhoon, and the red is a storm or something like that. So this is a storm area, and the purple is a typhoon. So the typhoon is right above us, or which I don't know the st strength of it or whatever is is here right now. Classes were canceled on my first day today. And, uh, yeah, that's the first one. The university doesn't send out an email to let you know. My university doesn't, which is a big one. Uh, doesn't send the, the foreign teachers a message. Uh, we don't know how to access the information, and it's all in Japanese anyway. Um, so, you know, classes start in an hour. You know, I'm supposed to be there in an hour, and, you know, I don't even know if I'm supposed to teach today or the school's closed so go to the website go to the front page you figure there's going to be news you know announcement school closed typhoon today don't come students go away something go to the twitter account go to the facebook account you figure something would be posted couldn't find a thing Ugh. so i call them which is something i wouldn't do my first few years here because my japanese wasn't good enough because anybody who speaks on the phone in another language is like alien because you can't understand them well, eventually Japanese got better, so I called them and I said, you know, hey, is there a typhoon today? Do we have classes today? No, they've been ca canceled for the first two classes, and uh, la la la. And I said, well, how do I find out more information? You know, where do I find? It? Oh, you just go to the Muse system, to the to the Blackboard system, to the the, the uh, student portal website, whatever, where, where where students and teachers talk behind the scenes. It's called Muse here in our school. And so I said, okay, well, I went there and I couldn't find anything. And he's on the, you know, he's going, well, it's um, on the front page. And I said, no, it's not on the front page. He goes, oh, right, right, right. There's a, just a little message here, something. Um, yeah, you know, and I said, well, whatever. Okay, I'll call back because they make another announcement at 11 o'clock whether they're going to have classes in the afternoon. So I said, okay, well, I'll just call you back in the afternoon. And he's, oh, 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 you know, like he's looking to find the answer. Well, if he can't find the answer that fast, obviously it's not there and easy for me to find. So I said, I'll call you back at 11. And he, oh, oh okay, who, who is this? And I, and I said, it's, uh, it's Mike Sensei. Oh, Mike Sensei. I'm like, oh, come on, you don't even know who I am. Whatever. <laughs> he's like making me sound like I'm so special, you know, <laughs> to do that here. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I, know, I know who you are. <laughs> okay. So anyway. I hang up the phone. Three minutes later, I know exactly what he did. He called the my not my boss, but my the guy who sits in the office and acts like he's the coordinator between the foreign staff and the the Japanese staff. And he's there like for three years, and he's gone. Whatever. Anyway, called him, and I'm sure they said to him, "Oh, did you send out an email to let your staff know that uh, there's no classes today?" I'm sure he didn't because he never talks to us. So three minutes later, we get this email. I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> yeah, we're doing well. We don't know what the hell's going on. So get the message that says, uh, hey, there are no classes this morning. Have a nice day. Check the news system if you want to see if there's a, a, a another warning. And he puts up this image of the, of the website of the actual message that's in Japanese. How to access it, how to get there. No information about just a just a screenshot of of the Japanese message that was posted at seven o'clock before seven o'clock in the morning. I called about eight fifteen or so, you know, because classes start at nine. Yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. so called that and did that. You know, classes are canceled. So um, then it's ten o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting here and all of a sudden my phone starts going ding dong, ding dong, my phone and my tablet at the same time, ding dong, ding dong, I'm like a bell, what the hell is a bell? I know the other sound for like emergency is like wah, 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 they make it really horrible sound, um, but this is like ding dong, ding dong, I'm like is there somebody at the door? What the hell is that? And my phone's going off and then this is what it looks like on my phone.
So I'm like, garble, 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 garble. There's a garble, garble on my phone. And all I can recognize in the, in the kanji is uh, Kobe City, and I think that's Earthquake. This kanji here, I know it's not going to focus. Where's my finger? This kanji here, can I get there? Uh, there's a kanji there anyway, and it's got these squiggly lines on it, and that means earthquake <laughs> uh, or disaster. That's the other thing, because if they pair that kanji character with another one, it means disaster or something like that, right? Okay, well, so I uh, get this message, and I'm trying to go through it in Japanese as best I can. I'm looking for you will die, so please leave the building and go to the center for... It's called the evacuation center, and I'm thinking it's a typhoon, and the water level is going to get rise and it's going to flood. So why would I leave my building if I'm on the fifth floor? I'm pretty high up. I wouldn't want to go out in the street because then it'd be all water. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, look for water. Look for street. Look for I don't know. Can't read anything, right? And then I hear the high school nearby going. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking, oh, God, okay, they've got to, you know, message you. All the students, please get under the tables. There's going to be a gigantic earthquake. Okay. Oh, shit. So then, fire trucks. Woo! Woo! Making announcements. You know, standing on the corner you know, where he's yelling out of the loudspeaker. Leave the building and go hide for cover. Grab grandma. You know, grab all your belongings. It's coming. Typhoon, big wave. You're dying. You know, I'm like, oh, shit. Well, now what? You know, what do I do in this situation? I wasn't really that paranoid, but it was kind of fun. So I... <laughs> I first thing I wanted to do, so simple, right? Long press, copy text, go to Google Translate, figure it out. Long press doesn't work. Dumbass freaking application. So I'm thinking, what other applications can I use? Where do I go on the website? I go to the Kobe City website. You figure that there's going to be on the Kobe City website in this city that there would be a big announcement. Something. You know, or like notice section or Twitter section. I'm on Twitter. I'm looking Kobe, tsunami, emergency. You know, nothing, 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 nothing. No information anywhere. I go to the KICC website, which is the, the English help, help the Foreigner website, right? You'd think there'd be a notice section on there with up-to-date information of everything that's going on, of every kind of emergency or anything. Typhoons in the area. Here are some warning signs. Here's a PDF of all the things in the evacuation center. If there are any troubles, this is where you should go. This is what you should do, right? Right? Huh? Hello. Okay. So, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, great. I go to the uh, Japan National Weather Organizations. I put in Kobe City, and all it says is there's a disaster warning in the area. I'm going, okay, so they just put on my phone, bing, 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 bing. Hey, everybody, there's a typhoon, and we're here to help you. Sweet, huh? Okay, so I decided to call my ex-wife, because that's what I used to do. <laughs> if there was any problems in the area, it was just like, What's going on? <laughs> I'm just kind of going, eh, well, ah, it's okay, don't worry about it. All right, good. Yeah, and that's what I did, and that was nice. That was a nice part. But now I'm alone. Got to figure this stuff out. So I call my friend up. Hey, John, what's up? Hey, uh, you know, I'm in Okinawa. I'm just sitting on the beach having a great time, just just chilling and, and enjoying life. You know, it's really great. Man, you should come here. It's a really great place. John, 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 I got to ask you a question. What happens when your phone goes ding, dong, ding, dong, and there's like a earthquake thing on it. What am I supposed to do? He's like, ah, don't worry about it. They do that, you know, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> the high school's going crazy. The fire department's down in the corner. I like my shit. <laughs> so, so I'm like, hey, no, it's okay. It's probably just a whatever, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. So I'm having a great time in Okinawa. Okay, John. Great, well, so I just kick back and I'm like, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> still got no answer on this. I don't really know what's going on. Looks kind of reddish there. <laughs> and uh, I'm in uh, the bottom of the, you know, I'm, I'm not above sea level. Before, I was up in the mountain, so I didn't care about typhoons and all that. It didn't matter. I was in a rock building. It was a very, very strong building. 
built by Kobe Steel. And it was so now, but now I live in an, a building that survived the earthquake in Kobe. This building is 35 years old. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to be on the fifth floor. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to ride this in a tsunami down there. So yeah, am I paranoid? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not paranoid. I'm not scared because you know you'd be paranoid if you looked out the window and people are running. Then I'd run because the water's coming, right? I mean, I'm sure there would be many more warnings than just one little bing bong, you know. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just kind of logics overtaking my brain and the lack of communication or the misunderstanding that foreigners must go through here without knowing the language or, or understanding what to do, how to do things. And safety is the one situation that comes up rarely, but when it does, foreigners walk around or run around with the, like a chicken with their head cut off because they don't know what to do. Where do I go? What do I do? Otherwise, we just sit and just everybody else saves themselves and we just have to take it like we do everything else. Just take it. Just kind of, you know, yeah, you're going to die. No, bye, foreigner. I'm out of here. More food for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the little whatever it was, but still don't know what to do. I'm just going to probably go to the supermarket and buy beer and just wait it out. So I'm off today. Not enough classes tomorrow either. Preparation, yeah, kind of done. It's the first week. Yeah. Peace.